definitely. Thank you for the super chat. Just so you don't feel left out, Joe, have you seen the new mini DSP two times ah. four HD? And if so, will it be worth upgrading? I don't know if it's called a two by four HD. I think they call it the flex now. The flex. Um, mini DSP flex. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull it up. RGA mini says DSP. first reflections would be weird with that. Yeah, totally. And how are they? If if they're right behind you, are they going to bounce up and then like stay here? Like that's that's what I don't get. It's it's probably going to bounce up and go in front of you, which would make I don't know, dude. I don't I I don't <laughs> like that bouncy house stuff. Sure. I mean, I like bouncy house music. But... <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's the to answer your question, Don. Thank you again for the super chat. This is the new mini DSP Flex four seventy five. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. So. It is two in and four out. And what I've seen is the difference. Main thing. So it has Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. It has a SPDIF connection. Uh, I guess the old one had a, you know, had optical in. And it had analog in for sure. But it was kind of a question that I had is like, what's the use case? You know, this is significantly more. So well, that's 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 what I was thinking, dude. Is it just just a flex? Oh, I got the flex. You got the flex? Yeah. (laughs) I guess I spent 500 on my DSP. Yeah, did, <laughs> why did you get the two by four HD? Well, I don't know because I just wanted yeah, to flex. I had ex- this money burning a hole in my pocket, and wanted to flex because <laughs> this has a screen, so it has a screen. Right, yeah. so, so, this one does have a uh, volume control and a screen, so and the, it comes with a remote, which I don't think the other one did. But so, here's what this is not for if you're using a mini DSP two by four HD for your subs, you don't need this, you know, you're not going to be looking at it ever, you don't need this. Um, I wish it would have included like Wi-Fi so you could just have a Wi-Fi connection to it because the other ones you have to get this adapter. Um, but I think the use case, hopefully, I was thinking about this. It's not for anybody using it for subs, but maybe for the guy who's like like the new school two-channel audio guy. You know, the old school two-channel mm. audio guys, vinyl record, tube preamp, and like analog everything, right? But maybe the new school two channel guy is going to be like, you know what? I'm down with like stereo. I don't need, I don't want multiple speakers. I just want two very nice speakers. I want it to look nice. And instead of a preamp, maybe they'll use something like this. So they might not use uh, the Bluetooth or they might, right? You have the option. But at least you can do DSP. So you can do a 2.1 setup with this, right? You just need a power amp. Right. So this would be your preamp now. I think that's the use case. So remember, I always say, hey, the two-channel audio guys, they don't use subs because they don't have DSP to blend it. Well, here you go. Uh, They don't have DSP to kind of do room correction. Well, here it is. So for 475, if you think about that as a preamp, it starts to make a little bit more sense. You know what I mean? Some of these preamps that these guys get, like two-channel audio guys are like super expensive because they have tubes, you know, whatever. But I think you're going to get more benefit out of something like this, then the like the craziest tube preamp with like the fanciest stuff on there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that's who buys this. I don't know if that's that's who will buy it, but anyway. 